Feeling your desire real is the most important thing when you choose the law of assumption to manifest your desire. But for many people, feeling the desire real when it doesn't exist becomes difficult. Neville Goddard said in his book, the time it takes for your assumption to become fact and for your desire to be fulfilled is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be and of already having what you desire. The most common misunderstanding about feeling it real is that people think that feeling it real means being emotional or having emotions about it. But feeling it real isn't about feeling emotional. Rather, feeling it real means feeling natural about your desire. You have to feel as if you have it, and now you no longer need it. Neville Goddard's philosophy suggests when you try to manifest something by feeling emotional about it, you create more hunger for it. Showing your neediness keeps you from manifesting your desire. But when you start thinking that you have manifested it, and you start ignoring it, it will automatically be attracted to you. The problem is that as long as your desire is not in your 3D yet, that hunger is going to make you react to the 3D in a negative way. On the other hand, if you have a very simple, non-emotional scene in your mind that implies that your desire has been yours for a while, that type of feeling is much easier to sustain since it feels so normal to you. Feeling it real implies exactly that. Write a brief scene that doesn't involve any intense emotions and indicates that you experience your desire often. Your subconscious mind's goal is to recreate that feeling in 3D once you've experienced it personally. Your subconscious mind will manifest in your 3D reality what you consciously assume to be true. According to many people, feeling it real means pretending. But this isn't true. Here's what Neville says. The actor cannot pretend. He must enter and become the part he has agreed to play. He cannot step onto the stage knowing he is a great actor who everyone recognizes. He must lose himself in the character by leaving his personality in the dressing room and entering the stage as the person he is to portray. Feeling real isn't about feeling emotional or pretending. It's about feeling natural. What does it mean to feel natural and how do natural feelings come about? Neville Goddard put forward the concept of state. If you are familiar with states of consciousness, it will all become easy for you to understand. We were created by God at the time of our birth. We claim to be God because of this. We have to completely forget who we are at the source in order to exist as humans and learn who we actually are since we are God in a human form. God wears me, God wears Neville, and God wears you. We claim to be one as a result. Each body that walks the planet is a manifestation of the same God, the same source. Of course, not just human bodies, each body, everyone who is here, and the entire universe. However, you experience it so intimately that you forget the fact that you are God. Feeling it real simply means that. Do you feel any emotions about who you are? No, you simply are you. Being you, in your body and soul, feels real. However, it's only a state. Your current state is one of being you. It doesn't feel emotional. It feels real, and it feels natural. When you wake up in the morning, have you ever thought, Oh my God, I am me. Amazing. I can't believe it. The majority of us never feel like that. We don't do that because we believe it to be real, usual, and natural. We have embodied the state of being us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.